Monster Productions is coming back at you for the first basketball action since the thrilling overtime come from behind victory by the Knights over the Montville Mustangs in the quarterfinals of the Morris County Tournament. Tonight, the Knights will face the Morristown Colonials. The Knights will open with number 22, Ryan Machuga, getting ready to tip off in the backcourt. Sam Stackhouse and Ryan Cattell. And in the front court, along with Machuga, number one, Jack Binkowski, and number 10, Dane Fleming. Morristown runs down the opening tip. Cheerleaders out in full force tonight on a somewhat warmer Thursday night on the 12th of February, 2015. Morristown, number 13, handles the ball. Ball fake by number 10. He kicks out to 13. Bukowski with the hands in the face. Stackhouse grabs the miss. Flips it left to Fleming, number 10. Stackhouse has a look from downtown. Rattles around, doesn't go down. Fight for the offensive rebound, controlled by nobody. Jump ball. Knight's arrow. Fleming the inbound. Fleming out to Binkowski, has a good look, and he drains it from three. And Jack Binkowski opens the scoring for the Knights. With a feed on the inbound from Fleming. Three nothing. Binkowski has been shooting the ball well this year for the Knights. Turn around, floaters good for a 3-2 score. Knights lead. Backhouse over to Cattell, number 11, had a big game. Cattell did against the Mustangs. Quick ball movement out on the perimeter by the Knights. Backhouse flips it to the left. The Knights shown patience. Binkowski drives, nothing there. Hits the stack house. Man runs by Cattell. Cattell's shot rattles around, doesn't go down. And the Colonials have it. Trailing 3 2. Tipped away by Cattell. Loose ball goes to Binkowski. Stack house. One dribble and a pass to Cattell. Defender was there, so Cattell dribbles back out and resets with stack house at the point. I slide my tripod left. Get a better shot for my butt. Five thirty-five in the first. Knights lead three-two on the strength of a three-pointer by Binkowski. Inside Binkowski. Nice feed by Binkowski. Binkowski drew the double team. Bounce pass in the paint to Machuga for two. The five-two lead. Give Binkowski the assist. Binkowski getting off to an early quick start with three points and one assist. Drive to the basket, no good. Cattell with the rebound over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse pushes the ball, slows it down. Asks for a screen by Matuga, he gets it. Pull up jumper, in and out by Fleming. Four and a half in the first. Three pointer. Swoosh. Scores tied at five. As Morristown knocks down the long range missile. Binkowski. They swing it right. Back pass out in the corner. Bounce pass into Fleming. Two defenders there. He flips it back out to the perimeter. Stackhouse into the paint. Floater. He gets fouled. He'll go to the line and shoot two. At the 
403 mark with the score, not at a five. Back out short on both, gets it back. Shot blocked, out of bounds. Lights will reset. Three fifty-nine. Pinkowski over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse from three. Back iron. Rebound by Machuga. Back to Stack. Knights moving the ball around, looking for a good shot. They've had some good shots. Not all of them have gone in, but they're getting good looks. As a result of their patience. Patel into the paint. Spin. Ball fake. Banks it. Too strong. Ball kicks around in the paint. Reflects out of bound off of the Knights. As the Knights bring in reinforcements. Number 32, Eric Look. Number 12, Damien Gonzalez. Number 35, Anthony Leosi. Checking in again. They remain on the court with Ryan Cattell and Sam Stackhouse. Scores tied at five. Number 13, off to the left. Gonzalez over to Stackhouse. Leosi came up big in the overtime, and he'll go to the line shooting two. Knights have taken three free shots at the rim and every one has hit the front of the rim. Somebody take down the force field. And the force field is eliminated per my request. And Leosi knocks it in for a 6-5 lead. And the Colonials succumb to the Knights' pressure and the Knights force a turnover. Stackhouse quick pass in the look. Eric Look bounces it into Gonzalez. Gonzalez in the paint, spins left. No. Rebound. Colonials. Colonials had a fast break. No, oh, blocked out of bounds. Number 34 had number 10 wide open on the wing. He put his head down to dribble and never saw him. It was blocked out of bounds by Leosi. Colonials will try it again. They trail with two minutes and 17 seconds by a score of six to five here in the first quarter as number two, E-V-A-N, that's E-V-A-N, Evan Turner goes to the scores table along with Patrick McAndrew. The layup on the offensive rebound is good for a 7-6 lead for the Colonials. Stackhouse drives, kicks it back out. Look runs it down. Leosi handling the ball. Flips it right to Cattell. 133. Cattell has it. Dribbles through. Hands it to Leosi. Leosi drives, steps back, pops from three, off to the left. They call a carry number 24. Knights have been doing a good job moving the ball around the perimeter. On that time, they did a lot of ISO. Evan Turner and Patrick McAndrew into the game, replacing Attell and Stackhouse. The Knights trailing 7 to 6 and 116 left here in the first quarter of action. Turner out to Leosi. Leosi spins, pulls it back. <laughs> Le 
Yossi. Cross cuts, out pops. McAndrew to the left, the look. Look, dribbles left, pulls it right, crosses over. A low scoring first quarter. Yossi loses the handle, it's tipped away. He runs it back down in the backcourt. Gets to Eric Luke, he takes the baseline and banks it in for a one point lead with 26 seconds on the clock. Number 13. Gets it back, give and go. Number 13 with a look from three, he rattles it in. And the Colonials lead, 10 to eight. Five seconds, Leosi at the 3.7 mark. Off the rim, no good, time expires. Three quarter court shot, misses by a mile. We go to the second quarter in a low-scoring first quarter with the Knights trailing 10-8. You're tuned in to Stack Monster Productions and the Knights Television Network on www.youtube.com. Second quarter set to begin with Turner, McAndrew, Leosi, Gonzalez, and Look. For the Knights. They trail 10-8. Evan Turner with a hand in the face, forces to pass right, number 13. Can't connect from downtown. Number 32 tried to run it down for the Colonials, but stepped out of bounds with the ball. And Evan Turner brings the ball up court, number two. Knights are moving the ball now. And that forces Lane inside. Layup is missed. Knights not shooting at a high percentage right now. Everything's missing. Three pointer off the mark. Rebound by McAndrew. As the ball skied in the air and rattled around for quite a while. Several sets of hands went up there, but McAndrew was the lucky recipient of that rebound. Seven minutes left in the half. Knights trail by two with possession. Leosi calls for a screen from Gonzalez. Gonzalez screens, rolls into the paint. Nothing materialized. Gonzalez takes it baseline, banks it in off the glass, and knocks up the game at 10. 10 10. Defense by Evan Turner. Number 10 could have been called a carry. Ball was deflected away. Look on the floor. Fight for the loose ball. Morristown comes up with it. Number 30. Drive to the basket. Blocked by Gonzalez. Gonzalez comes up with the rebound. Over to Turner. Turner. Flips it right, Leosi, Leosi. Head fake, drive, floats it, too long. Gonzalez with another board. Gonzalez off of the leg of number 24. 30 second timeout. Called by the Colonials. Knights should have possession. Off of the timeout, five minutes and 49 seconds left in the first half. Here at Morris Hills High School. Turn it inbound. Gonzalez spins baseline to the line he goes. Second personal foul, number 32 for the Colonials, the third team foul for the Colonials. Gonzalez makes good on his first. As number 24, Joe Vicente, replaces McAndrew on the court. by 
violation on the Morristown Colonials as as Gonzalez looks for short shot redemption. And he redeems himself. And the Knights lead by two. 12-10, five minutes and 42 seconds of the second quarter, that is. 24, into the paint, floats, no. Gonzalez doing a good job on the boards. Grabs his third or fourth rebound for the Knights. Vicente handles the ball. Flips it over to Turner. Turner catches, puts the ball in his right hand, crosses over to his left, drives left, reverses to the right to an open Leosi from three. Back left iron, miss. On the floor, 13 gets it, 24, two on one. Layup good, score tied. Pachuga over to the table, checking in at the next whistle. 4.54. Vicente finds Leosi, Leosi flips left. 4.40, 12-12. Those are the numbers you need to know right now. Gonzalez. Gets fouled on the floor. Stackhouse, Fleming, and Machuga check back in for the Knights. Look, Turner and Leosi get a breather. Fifteen picks up his first. Vicente over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse, drive, dish, Vicente. Perimeter, dribbles in, rattles around, doesn't go down. Morristown was looking to run on the fast break there. Pass to number 10 was a little bit long and out of bounds and the Colonials turn it back over to the Knights with 4.15 remaining in the first half. Knights look to take a lead on this possession. The score is tied at 12. Fleming takes the pass from Stackhouse and returns the favor. Machuga over to the left, Gonzalez. Gonzalez throws the left forearm and picks up the offensive foul. His first. Keeps that elbow in, a forearm in, he probably gets a blocking call, but once you extend that arm, Deflected by Vicente, forces a bad shot. Good job defensively by Joe Vicente. Stackhouse into Vicente, wants to reward him for the good job defensively. They call a three second violation. They, they nab number 12, Gonzalez, on the three second call. And Cattell back into the game, replaces Gonzalez. He did an excellent job on the glass in his minutes, 323. 12-12 is the score. Oh, backdoor cut by 24. Gives the Colonials a two-point lead. Stackhouse, Cattell, Vicente, Fleming, and Machuga. For the Knights. What has been a sluggish first half offensively, Cattell's three-pointer. Banks off the side rim, out of bounds. Colonials have it with a two point lead and two minutes and 55 seconds left here in the first half of action. Coming to you live on recorded television from Morris Hills High School, Rockaway, New Jersey. You are tuned in to the Knights Television Network as Cattell was oh so close to a steal. A subsidiary of an offensive foul on number 15 as he pushes Machuga out of the way. That's the 15th foul for the Colonials. Stackhouse drives to the basket, floats it up. Rebound by Vicente. Vicente kicks it back out to Machuga. And the Knights will reset. Stackhouse 
from three. Stackhouse finds his range on his third attempt in the Knights lead 15 to 14. Somebody put in a call to Roto Rooter and Stackhouse drained it. Colonials, number 10. Pachuga tried to block it from behind, but the bucket was good. 16 15. Two minutes to go. Stackhouse flips it right. Machuga out pops Fleming. Fleming to the paint. Lost the handle. Tipped away in the Cattell. Cattell deep. Cattell almost put the right spin on it. Gets it back. And Cattell will earn two free shots at that little black stripe right at the end of the red paint. With one minute and 45 seconds, one more personal foul on the Colonials and the Knights will be in a bonus situation. Cattell shooting two with a one point deficit. Swish goes the first and it's all tied at 16. Cattell one more for the lead. Miss. Colonials, 141. 16 all. Vicente forces the shot wide, almost strips it back away. Good job by Joe Vicente. Shot from just outside the elbow. No good. Out of bounds. Last touch by the Knights. With one and a half remaining in the first half. Number 35, Leosi, into the game, replaces Vicente. Tip of the cap to Joe Vicente, making things happen as Mama Boyle is in the house a.k.a. Stack Monster's mother. Long three-pointer by the Colonials is good. The Colonials lead by three. Hello, mother. Hello, mother. Hello, father. Stackhouse in the Cattell. Cattell, too strong. Rebound. Morristown tipped away by Machuga. Loose ball, now deflected back. Crazy pass. Twenty-one sixteen. Knights trail by five. Stackhouse from three. Back iron. Machuga puts the pressure on, but number fifteen's able to get out. Twenty-four. All the dribbles it off his leg. Stolen by Cattell. Cattell. Cattell takes it right. Cattell in the middle. Twenty-seven seconds. Over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse drives to the basket. Underneath, no call. Leosi back defensively. Layup is good. And it's 23 to 16 with 13 seconds left. Can the Knights get one more shot? Nine seconds left. Knights a little sloppy with the ball in the latter stages of the quarter. Patel with two seconds. He might not have left himself enough time to get a good look as the defender was in his face. And Knights will go into halftime trailing by a score of 23 to 16. Will they make the corrections they need to make in the second half? We shall find out. Second half action ready to begin in 27 seconds. Stackhouse will take the court along with Anthony Leosi, Eric Look, Ryan Cattell and Damon Fleming. It was a closely contested first half with the score tied at 16 with just about a minute or two left in the half. But Morristown Colonials closed out the half with a 7-0 run and they take possession of the opening half. Ball with a seven point lead, 23 to 16. And promptly turn the ball back over to the Knights after only eight seconds. Stackhouse takes it. Guarded by number 10. Over to Leosi. Leosi. Dribbles across to Cattell. Cattell spins. Nothing down in the paint. Pull up jumper. Short by Fleming. Tipped by Cattell. 
Let's whistle first, first personal. Anthony Yossi, Leosi's limping around a bit. We hope he's okay. Didn't see what happened on the play. 30 seconds elapsed. Knights with a little bit of pressure. Backdoor caught by number 32 is good for a nine point lead. 7 17. Look from Stackhouse. Look, takes it to the basket. Look will shoot two. Look on the floor, landed on the perpetrator, number 32. Oh, they call an offensive foul on Look. Maybe that's why he landed on him. Turner checks him in the game, replaces Stackhouse. Inside the number 10, turnaround jumper, good in it. 11 point lead. Turner with the handle. Over to Cattell, Cattell, into the paint, Cattell, banks it in. And after 11-0 run, the Knights are off the schneid. Tipped by Cattell, over to Leosi. Leosi floats, too long, gets the offensive rebound and banks it in. Four quick points by the Knights. And they cut it back down to seven, 27 to 20. Six and a half, third quarter. Tipped away by Cattell. Evan Turner, Evan Turner, diving out of bounds, saves the ball. Yeah, okay, Colonials came up with it, but I love what I saw out of Evan Turner on that play. As he sells out for his teammates. They kick it, cross court, three pointer. Bang! And it's back up to 10, just like that. 30 to 20. Point lead with six minutes left in the third quarter. Leosi spin in the paint, draws the contact, can't get the roll on the bucket. They'll shoot two, looking to cut it to eight. Leosi's money on the first. Cuts it to nine, 30 to 21. Bends his knees, launches, good rotation. Bucket good, 30 to 22. Right now, the Knights gotta focus on the defensive end. Fleming dives for the ball. Reflected it out of bounds. Good hustle play by Damon Fleming. Knights looking to put a little backcourt pressure on. Northtown beats it. They've handled the pressure fairly well to open up the second half of action. Leosi on number 13. In the 30. 30 takes it into the paint. Right hand, no good. Tipped out, 30 runs it back down for the Colonials. Look reaches in, gets whistled for a second. Right now it's looking like the Colonials want it more. Who, who wants to step up for the Knights and take control of this game? That's the question burning on my mind right now. Another three pointer by the Colonials. Rattles around, doesn't go down, grabbed by Leosi. Leosi, bullet pass into Fleming, two defenders back, so he kicks it back to Leosi. Leosi lost the handle, but that's because he was fouled from behind by number 10. As Machuga replaces Look, who's going to take a seat with two personals. Number 10 picked up his second as well for the Colonials. Machuga takes the inbound, feed from Fleming. Feed from Fleming. A little alliteration here. Cattell fakes the pass. Shot blocked in the paint. He looks for a whistle. He doesn't get one. Colonials deflected by Leosi. Out to 13. Into the paint. 
This pass in the middle was deflected away by Machuga into the hands of Cattell. Leosi has it back. Leosi, halfway between, halfway between the elbow and the three-point arc. Shot goes off the back rim, hits the wire, holding up the backboard, and that's out of bounds. The Knights trail by eight with four minutes and 40 seconds left here in the third quarter. And we have our first suitcase of the game. First suitcase of the game goes to the Colonials. Turner. Turner kicks it right over Leos. Back to Turner. Cattell has Leosi in the corner. Leosi with a look from three. Oh, Leosi! Leosi, bada bing, bada bang, knocks it down. And he'll go to the line for a chance at a four point play. The three pointer cuts the deficit to five. Leosi grimacing in pain. Bounces the ball with authority, bends his knees, launches the shot, rattles it in, and the Knights on a run. They trail 30 to 26 on a four point play by Anthony Leosi. Ball was tipped out of bounds by the Knights. Two defenders back for the Knights. Colonial will go into the half court. Stolen away by Block and stolen by Cattell. Turner over to Leos. Swing it right. Four point game. Inside. Ball was just a little bit hot to handle. Goes off Fleming's hands and out of bounds. Nice trail at one point by 11. As the Colonials closed out an 11-0 run spanning the second and third quarters, but since that time, they've closed the gap down to four. Floater off the side of the rim, offensive rebound, leads to a three-point attempt. That one's no good. Into the middle, loose ball. Turner comes up with it. Turner, looking up court. He was looking for Fleming in the corner. But the defender just got a hand in there. Leosi, long, it's going to be short. Long being the shot, short being the result. Loose ball, kicks to Cattell. Cattell rolls it in off the front iron, and the Knights trail by two as they themselves are on an 8 0 run after trailing 30 to 20. Timeout on the play. 2.59. As the Colonials have seen a 10 point lead evaporate down to two with two minutes and 59 seconds to go in the third. Knights are on a roll. And we take a timeout here on the Knights Television Network. Knights digging defensively, looking to keep the run going. Inside the number 10, he can't connect. Ball's tipped away. 10 gets it back, falling back, flips it backwards to number 15. Finger roll, no good. He grabs his board off the miss, flips it in the middle, and stolen away by Fleming. Leosi from Turner. Inside to Gonzalez, number 12. Gonzalez gets fouled, he'll shoot. Two minutes, 27 seconds left in the third. Dallas, front rim, no good. Turner's replaced by Binkowski. Excellent job by Evan Turner. Second shot for Gonzalez is good. And the Knights cut it to one, 29. For the Knights, 30. Number 13 goes to the ground, is able to keep his dribble alive and dish it to number 10. 30 drives. Fleming says, no way you're going baseline on me this time, brother. Tip that out of bounds. 206.
Three-pointer, 13, good! Leads back out to four. 33-29. Leosi handles the rock. Hands it to Patel. Patel from the elbow into the paint. Pull up jumper. Good! 33-31. Minute and a half, third quarter. One nineteen. Drive, dish, corner, into the paint. Leosi was there. Rip move by number ten results in a bucket, thirty-five-thirty-one. Yossi drives, finger roll, no good. Short. 55 seconds. Nice erase the 30 to 20 lead to cut it down to one. They now trail by four. In danger of going back down by five or six. Could tell. The whistle him. Oh, he bumped his shoulder. Come on. Second on Cattell. Come on. 37.7 left in the quarter. Colonials look as if they're setting up for one final shot with 20 seconds to go. Leosi. Fleming into the paint, kick out to 32 with 11 seconds. Seven seconds to go. Down to four. Push off by number, oh my, number 15. Extended his right arm, pushed Leos, pushed Cattell to the ground. Extended his right hand and just gave him a push and they whistle it on Cattell. Say it ain't so. Three on Cattell. One point six. Morristown will inbound. Look to get a shot off. At the buzzer, no. We go to the fourth. The Knights trailing by four. They trailed by seven going into the third. And they shaved three points off the deficit. We come back at you for the fourth quarter. <laughs> Leosi takes the inbound and the Knights will open the fourth quarter trailing 35 to 31. McCandra number five into the game for the Knights to start the fourth. Out there with Vintoski, Gonzalez, Fleming, and Leosi. Andrew has it over to Gonzalez. Gonzalez's pass is intended for Leosi and tipped out of bounds. As Colony has read the passing lane on that. Minkowski, ball fake, pulls it back. Pull up jumper, rattles around, doesn't go down. Rebound by Gonzalez, Gonzalez can't convert. Another rebound, this time by McCandrew. McCandrew gets fouled. And that's five team fouls on the Colonial. Both teams with five team fouls. Good strong move by McCandrew. McCandrew has it. Takes it left. Koski from Fleming. And Koski from the elbow. Jumper short. Rebound 32 of the Colonials. 
Stackhouse, Machuga, check into the game, replacing Gonzalez, Minkowski, and McCandrew. Number 24, ball fake, into the paint, dish, spin move, foul. Ball goes against Machuga, number 22. <laughs> One more on the night with the Colonials in a bonus situation. That's the first personal foul on Machuga. Yes. First free throw attempt is good. It's a six point lead for the Colonials. Second one rattles around and goes down. The lead is up to seven. Check that. Six point lead. Four plus two equals six. That's right. I forgot about that. Back house over to Look. Look into the paint. Look has a look. Short. On the ground. Saved by the Colonials. Knights don't want to get down to a three possession game again. But they go, oh, he misses the layup. Rebound by Fleming. Over to Leosi. Leosi. Four defenders back. Kicks it out to Stackhouse. Stackhouse drives, kicks. Machuga back to Leosi. Leosi, ball fake. One more. Stackhouse has it. Balls for a screen. Number 30. Run the help defense. Spin move. Fade away, jumper, banks in. Four point game, 5-15. Leosi. <laughs> 37-33. Number 10, thought about a drive, but Fleming cheated in and said it's not happening. And number 30 gets called for a suitcase as number 11, Ryan Cattell, checks into the game. Cattell with three fouls. Look with two. Are the only ones in foul trouble at this point for the Knights. Not that two is, constitutes foul trouble, but the only ones with more than one. Stackhouse flips it to Fleming. Over to Cattell. Cattell sees a lane. The lane closes up, pulls back, rattles around, doesn't go down. Eric Look with a big rebound. Eric Look can't connect. A hand came swiping across. Not sure if it made contact with Look, but the guy with the striped suit said it didn't. And therefore, it wasn't. 37-33, into the paint. Look with the good defense. Oh my, oh my. Eric Look. Eric Look maintaining his vertical space and yet gets called for the foul. Is there any love left in the world? Chuga and then again replacing Look. And go see the trainer, he got poked in the eye. Second one is good. 38 33, five points. Separate the teams. Stackhouse over to Cattell, back to Leosi. Stackhouse in the corner, number 10 is out there defensively. Stackhouse floats it, rattles it in! 38-35, timeout, in the action. Four minutes and six seconds, Knights trail by three, 38-35. Coach G goes over the strategies while Eric gets his eye, get it, looked at. We'll come back at you. In fact, why don't we just stay with you? As we peer into the huddle. Hey. 
Knights have trailed since the game was tied at 16 in the first half. As Eric Look trots back onto the court for the Knights. Morristown will have the ball off of the timeout. Following the bucket by Stackhouse, which cut the deficit back down to three. There are four minutes and six seconds left on the clock. Left in the game, in fact. And the Colonials lead the Knights by scare. Tipped away by Leosi. Colonials get it across, into the paint, layup good. It's five points again. Stackhouse finds Leosi. On the left side, Leosi. Knights want to move the ball around and get a good look at the basket. Fleming over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse drives him in the paint. Draws the contact. Tries to put it up and get the continuation. Leosi from deep. Oh, Leosi! Stackhouse feeds it to Leosi. And Leosi drains it from deep. And it's a two-point game. And right off the bucket, the Colonials turn it back over to the Knights. Three and a half to go. 40 to 38. Knights trail the Colonials. Stackhouse spins. Kicks it back out to Leos. Back to Stack. John 316 on the clock. Stackhouse to Kitel. Leos into the paint. Pull back. Back to in. Leosi with five in a row! 40 all! Three minutes to go! Let's go, defense! Get on, Ryan! Nothing easy! Into the paint, they go. Lay up attempt, no good! Grab by Machuga! Stackhouse looks for a fast break! He's got. Fleming! Fleming's going to the line! Stackhouse said, I see a brother down the wing! The baseball pass is good to Fleming. And Fleming will go to the line looking to shoot the Knights into the lead! Yeah, Rattles around, doesn't go down. Both teams in a bonus. With the score tied at 40. Yeah. Lemon's good on the second. Nicely 41 40. Two and a half. Stackhouse stays with his man, as does backdoor cut. No good. Defense was there. Fleming was there with Machuga. No good. Offensive rebound. Three-pointer by number 30. He pushes it. And it's a two-point game. Knights trail by two, 43-41. Stackhouse over to Machuga. Machuga, ball fake, back to Stack. Stack from deep. Stack short. Fleming with the board. Fleming back to Stack. This time Stack drives. This is to Fleming. Fleming with a good look. It's short, out of bounds. Knights have it back with 148. Two good looks by the Knights. They couldn't convert, but they have another opportunity. Fleming, and they could tell. Bobbled, Colonials have it with a two point lead. Fleming out on the three point shooter, number 30. 13 has it, one minute and 35 seconds. Two point game. Number 10, spin move, they call foul. Stackhouse picks it up. Two shots. No way. Terrible call. 
First on Stackhouse, two shots for number 10 with a two point lead and a minute and a half left in the game. One on one, I get. Not two. Two First one rattles around, doesn't go down. Second shot for number 10. It is no good. Rebound by Leosi. Minute and a half. Knights with the possession. Stackhouse, Leosi, Patel, Machuga, Fleming. Stackhouse over to Patel. Patel saves it. Leosi wants to drive. Pull up. Elbow jumpers. Good! Leosi ties the score at 43. Leosi. Seven in a row for Leosi. 54 seconds. Will the Colonials hold for one shot? They call a timeout with 50 seconds. The Knights and the Colonials all tied at 43. 50.4 on the clock here on the Knights Television Network. A subsidiary of Stack Monster Productions. We'll check back into the game on the defensive possession. Knights add some length to the lineup defensively. Get a hand in the face of any shooters. Increase the potential for a tip or a block down low. 47 seconds. Are they going to hold for a final shot? Make it win, miss overtime. 37 seconds. Cattell goes for the steal. The ball's loose. One down. Number 24 has it. 26 seconds. Number 24 dribbles through. Out to 10. They're going to look to perhaps number 30. He's been their high scorer. 16 seconds. 13 seconds. Eight seconds to go. They're going to make their move. Drive to the basket. They whistle an offensive foul. Offensive foul with four seconds. Knights will have an opportunity. Stackhouse will check into the game. Somebody's got to come out. Somebody's got to come out. Machuga at the buzzer. We're going to overtime. We're going to overtime. Tied up 40. And that's two games in a row with bonus coverage as the Colonials and Knights take it to overtime with a score tied at 43. You might reflect on a similar circumstance just about four days ago, five days ago. Opening tip to the Colonials. 24, ball fake into the paint. Whistle as the whistle is flowing freely. They call a block on Leosi. Both teams in a bonus situation in overtime. My mouth is dry. My pulse is high. I can't deny that if we can score more points, I can experience nirvana. First free throw attempt is good. Second one is good for a two point lead. Leosi. Hands it to Stackhouse. Stackhouse to Cattell. Gets it to Stackhouse. 333. Knights look for a look. A good look. Patel into the paint. Spin move. They call a suitcase. And Knights have to play defense. They don't want to get down by two scores. Number 10. Over in the corner. Stackhouse with a hand in his kitchen. They flip it down low. Balls loose, 
Nobody can run it down for the Knights. Cattell stumbles a little bit. Layup is no good. Tipped out. Colonials get it back. Into the middle. Tipped around. In the middle. They whistle another foul. The Knights get no love down low. They call a block on Stackhouse. That is a comical. That is a comical. Yeah, absolutely comical. He Second on Stackhouse. Double bonus situation for the Colonials who have been hitting their free throws. And three free throws have given them a three point lead at 46 to 43. Second one is good. It's a two possession game with 2.53 remaining. Eric Wolf will check back in at the next whistle. Leosi flips it to Stackhouse. Stackhouse across the Capel. Knights need a score on this possession. Stackhouse in the Fleming. Fleming bounce pass into Machuga. Machuga turns around. They call a jump ball. Wow, the whistles don't seem to flow both ways, do they now? They call a jump ball. Cattell over to Fleming. Fleming to Leosi. Look checks back into the game. Nothing there. Leosi. 2 12. Knights need a bucket. Leosi into the paint, gets the whistle. He'll shoot two at the 208 mark. Two shots for Leosi. Trailing by four. And no good on the first. Knights need one to make it a one possession game. The difference in the game right now is four free throws by the Colonials. No good on the second. Eric Look with a rebound. He gets fouled and Eric Look will shoot two. Big rebound by Look off the misses. Knights need these free throws to cut it to one possession. Look is too strong on the first one. Two oh seven. Rattles around and rolls in at the last second. It's a three-point game at the 207 mark. Knights trail 47 to 44. Colonials, 152. They're gonna look to run some clock on this possession, not anxious to take a shot. There's a three. Run down by the Colonials. Colonials get it back. Colonials were doing a favor on that shot. Layup attempt is good. And it's 49-44. Leosi, elbow jumper, good. 49-46, 121. 1-16. Knights trail by three. That's a backcourt violation. And the Knights have a chance to tie it with a three. Knights trail by three. There's one minute and seven seconds left in overtime. Tell over to Leosi. Leosi from three. He nailed it! It's tied at 49! 49, Leosi! Leosi!
Kelsey, hot, hot, hot. And the score is all knotted at 49 with 45.3 seconds to go. Colonials have drawn up their play with 45.3 seconds remaining in overtime. And the score is tied at 49. Five in a row by Leosi to close a five point deficit. Elbow jumper and a three. Both teams in a double bonus. Knights don't want to foul. They want to make the Colonials earn it. 25 seconds. Colonia is holding for the final shot. Fifteen seconds to go. He's gonna hold the ball. Ten seconds. Norristown's gonna go into their offense now with seven seconds. Twenty-four drives, kicks out. Open three by thirteen. Off the rim. No good. We're going to double overtime. Tied at forty-nine. of extra bonus coverage here at Stack Monster Productions. How's a freshman dude, you know? Look will jump. He tips it into the backcourt, controlled by the Colonials. Colonials had a 49 to 44 lead with two minutes left. Anthony Leosi hit an elbow jumper and a three-pointer to tie the score at 49. And we're going to double dip here. Number 30, nothing there, to tell defensively. Cattell with a hand in the face of the shooter, rattles around, doesn't go down. Eric Look had inside position and came over the back of the Colonial player. They didn't call it as he bumped him from behind but redemption is served as the Knights come up with a loose ball. We pass the John 316 mark on the clock, and Cattell spins in the paint, out to Machuga. Machuga, ball fake, kick out. Fleming, 304. Knights will settle it down and look for a good shot. Leosi over to Cattell. Cattell, ball fake, into the paint. Machuga will shoot two for a chance at the lead with two minutes and 54 seconds on the clock in double overtime here at Morris Hills High School. Morris Hills, New Jersey. There's no such thing as Morris Hills, New Jersey. What the hell, I just invented a new town. Two for the OC. Score tied at 49. No long, as the Knights have a one point lead. As Machuga rattles in the first shot. Machuga slows down. Just rim, no good. Cattell with the board. Cattell gets slapped, and Cattell will shoot too. Cattell grabbed the offensive board off of the miss by Machuga, who made one of two, and Cattell will shoot two free throws. With the Knights leading 50 to 49. The first. Let's go. good on the second. The Knights lead by three, 52 to 49. 
Colonials trail by three. An open look at a three by 13. Rattles around, doesn't go down. Another forward by Cattell. Cattell inside the Leosi. Leosi gets fouled. They'll shoot two more, looking to take a two possession game. With 2.19 on the clock, Leosi's first free throw gives the Knights a four point lead with one to come. Second one is good. And the Knights lead by five, 54 to 49. Now they gotta dig in and play defense and protect the ball on offense. Spin move by 24, layup is no good. Rebound by Look, Look gets fouled. And Look will shoot two. Look, shooting two with the Knights leading by five. Two free throws would make it a three possession game. He never, he's not do it. Look is good. 55 to 49. Second one's off. Six point game, 55 49 with two minutes remaining. Inside, out of, oh, almost out of bounds by number 32. 30 drives, give up a two point bucket, but a miss. Kicks around, rattles around, out of bounds. Colonials, 146 on the clock. Good defense by Fleming. Nothing there. Tips away into the hands of Gattel. The Knights just need to protect the rock now. No turnovers. They're going to get fouled. Gattel. The Knights seemingly with the game under control with a minute and a half left. Patel will be shooting two off of this timeout. Knights have hit their free throws in the second overtime to take a six point lead. After trailing by five with about a minute and a half left in the first overtime, Knights have come storming back. All but salted away, the Knights have to do two things. Do not foul and do not turn the ball over. Then they'll walk away with a double overtime victory. They can give up a layup or a steal might be good. And Eric Look says, I can steal the ball. And he does, he gets fouled and he'll shoot two. With one minute and 20 seconds on the clock in double overtime. The Morris Hills Knights have fought back but from 11 point deficit in the second half. They tied it up, sent it to overtime, came from five back, tied it again, sent it to double overtime. 
and Rick Look shooting two. And in the second overtime, the fouls caught up with the Colonials, and Knights went to the line and started knocking down their free throws. As they've got seven points from the stripe here in double overtime, and Morristown has been held scoreless. Morristown's gonna have to put it up from downtown. It's no good, an offensive rebound. Bounce pass, turnover with one minute and five seconds. And Knights lead by eight. One minute to go. Cross court to look, it hit the net, but look caught it anyway. Knights don't have to take a shot, they're just gonna dribble the ball out and wait to get fouled. And at this point, it's probably a moot point anyway, as Leosi will shoot two. And the Knights are gonna win this game. The only question is the final margin. They came in in the second overtime, all tied at 49. They've scored eight points in overtime, all from the free throw line. Number 30 fell down. First one rattles around, doesn't go down. bucket on that it was a lane violation on the Knights. Nevertheless, the Knights lead by eight with only 38.3 seconds remaining in double overtime. 15 to the basket, layup attempt no good, offensive rebound, another miss, and a whistle down low, not what the doctor ordered. They call Fleming. Here's the situation. They knock these free throws down. It becomes a two possession game and anything can happen. A three pointer, a steal, and another three pointer. It's a long shot at best. The last thing you want is to give them points with the clock stopped. However, the Colonials can't capitalize and Cattell to the outlet to Fleming with 21 seconds. And Knights are going to dribble out the clock unless, of course, number 24 fouls Leosi, which he does. The game that wouldn't end. Rip Van Winkle found himself a nice cozy spot, laid down, took a nap, Slept for 20 years, woke up, and the game was still going on with Leosi at the free throw line. Leosi's good on the first, 58-49. Second one rattles around, doesn't go down. Patel keeps it alive. And this time, the Knights will dribble it out, and they will take home a 58 to 49 victory, a nine point win for the Knights. To take this one from the Colonials, the game was a little tougher than they thought it would be. And we say goodnight from Stack Monster Productions and the Knights Television Network.